Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the MTG Tube Tremor Eye from Fender. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be signing in my future upwards. There's going to be affiliate links to the Tube Tremor Eye and all the gear I used in this video, and to record my video is down in the description. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So Fender are very well known for having some of the best Tremor Eye and reverb sounds found in their vintage amps, dating all the way back to the 50s and 60s, and all of these are tube driven as well. So they've actually gone to capture this classic Tremor Eye circuit in a pedal format with loads of different options and using a real tube inside as well. So internally we have new old stock 62i5 tube. On the front of the pedal there's a couple of different controls. There's a level for the overall output volume which can be good because normally when you kick on a tremolo effect there can be like a perceived volume loss because the volume is modulating with the tremolo so you can either bring this up to match or you could even use it as a boost. And then we have a speed control that has two functions. You can use it as a traditional speed control or in conjunction with the tap tempo switch, and then you have different subdivisions, which allows you to get some standard subdivisions, some dotted subdivisions, and even triplet subdivisions as well. To activate this, you would tap in your tempo and then hold down the tap tempo switch and move the speed control to the desired subdivision, and then you'd get that sound going on. In the demo though, we're just gonna use it as a standard speed control because the tap tempo is only really useful if you want a very specific tempo of tremolo to match an original track and so on. So also an intensity, which you can think of as like the depth of the tremolo, and then then we have a three-way wave toggle switch and a wave control. So we kind of have three waves going on. We have a sine wave, a triangle wave, and a square wave, which give us lots of different classic tremolo sounds. And then using the wave control, you can kind of blend between the different shapes that you can see next to the toggle switch as well. So the sine wave will give you a really nice smooth tremolo. The square wave will give you a really choppy tremolo. And then the triangle wave is something a bit different. So we're just going to check it out clean. So we're going to run it into my Hampstead RT60 Plus RT, which is a great clean pedal platform amp. There's a tiny bit of reverb coming from that amp as well. It's also running through the Time King Iron Man 2 attenuate, just attenuate ever so slightly, just to knock off a little bit of volume and save my ears. And then the speaker's being recorded by Lua MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. The guitar I'm going to be using is this 1956 reissue gold top with Monty's 54p90 pickups. So the gold top straight into the amp sounds like this. <laughs>
So there we have it. That was a look at the MTG Tube Tremolo from Fender, capturing some of their most classic amp tremolo sounds and even using the new old stock 62i5 tube. Having the speed control on there to either use as a traditional speed control or in conjunction with the tap tempo switch to give you rhythmic subdivisions is really cool. Then having the three-way toggle switch with the wave blend control as well that kind of morphs the wave ever so slightly and gives us some more unique tones. And then of course the level to match the unity level so you can get rid of that perceived volume loss or even use it to boost the output level a little bit if you like. So it's a really killer option. I've been quite a big fan of all the recent Fender pedals that I've tried. The Trey Verb that has their tremolo and reverb in one is kind of a flint killer for me, mainly because it actually has drip on the spring reverb as well, which surprisingly the flint never really captured. But this is definitely a killer heavyweight option if you want real tube tremolo on your pedal board with loads of flexibility. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the tube tremolo and if you'd go and pick one up. Again, there's gonna be affiliate links to the tube tremolo in the description, as well as all the gear I used in this video. And to record my videos, these do help support the channel out further, so I really appreciate you going to check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry and thanks for watching.